Hey guys, Dark Knight Fly here. I'm sorry, I'm kind of covering my mouth here. But, I just thought I'd putting it right in front of me. Just because, you know, like when you buy something this expensive, I, I, I know it sounds weird, but I need to flex it kind of a little bit. But right, sorry, shit start to video. What I really want to talk about today was um the whole Adpocalypse 2 type scenario. I'm surprised how we're all like it took me a while to actually find out that this was happening in the mo or happening like you know because usually i'm up to date on that sort of stuff but not this time around um because i have youtube premium and like i don't notice if there's like less ads or not and as far as i'm aware like when i stopped or started using premium there was enough ads like youtube genuinely was in the uphill for the amount of ads that were being shown on every video like if you were the type of youtuber that was monetized you would get at least an ad of course if you were demonetized the same kind of difference and stuff but you, i'd still see a video on that every so often for now yeah but that brings us to here now the adpocalypse 2 as people are calling it i'm pretty sure there's been more but i don't know i i think i'm just reminiscing on different stuff for no reason and make it up all this for no reason as well. But yeah, um, I I don't know what to say because it is weird. I've watched two people already say it. I think that's all I really need. So if any of my shit is off, just let us know below. But I think it's important we all talk about this and what you can do, obviously, to help people if you really care about YouTube this much. I know a lot of people won't give two shits and they'll just like, you know, keep using ad blocker and not pay premium. Because honestly, I wouldn't have paid premium either if I didn't have enough money. I pay for it because I want to pay for it and like, I want to support people in a kind of way and just get rid of a few ads, you know. But other than that, um, I know Disney and Epic Games and all that have pulled out. Um, weird. It's weird though how Epic Games of all people pulled out when... You know, Apex is there that almost crushed them. I'd say, like, eight, like if we were going on their, like, levels of fame real quick. Fortnite's kind of here. Apex just is here. But I'm not sure. I haven't really seen much uh, lately. But other than that, let's get back to this topic. So, I'm just going to say this ginger lad. I really don't want to mention his actual name because he's a massive fucking wanker. Uh, he pretty much just destroyed the system completely. Instead of reporting the comments with YouTube's actual tools, like, I'm 100% sure if you look at comments, any comments on YouTube, even, like, in stories, in the comments of YouTube videos, or even, like, in, um, community posts, there's, like, a little flag or somewhere, maybe three dots, you just click that, report for inappropriate stuff, and you just put in whatever. But no, like, apparently that doesn't exist to this lad. Sorry, I'm starting to sweat in this, but... Man, I don't understand his logic. Especially because of some of the old videos people are pulling from his past. Which, I believe he tried to delete as well. Like, what the fuck are you at? So you want to pull down the platform with yourself. Like, you don't even, like... I'm trying to see the logic here. Like, sure, you'll get a bit of fucking money and stuff in the, like, in the grand build of it all. What's the point? Like... You've literally pulled the ads from YouTube. And as some people pointed out, you've been dotting ads all over your videos. Are you thick? Like, genuine question though. Are you thick? Like, you've been on YouTube long enough to know that that won't work. Like, who's left to advertise? And of course, this could also be me just not knowing who's left to advertise. Because I have premium, obviously. But that'll blend us into the next point of how I want to talk to YouTube, right? Of course, I can't. It's impossible. But if by the off chance of the fucking millions of videos uploaded daily that YouTube see this, I want to say to them this, right? Now, of course, this isn't the perfect method. This isn't going to cure everything. The apocalypse isn't going to be sorted. But it's just a little thing to think about, you know... Because YouTube Premium's there, it's 12 euro, people might be desensitized by buying it, because I think Netflix is like a tenner. And, like, people don't want to pay an extra two for that. 
But, I don't know, maybe YouTube should just make it more obvious that there's all these different things with YouTube. Sure, like, ad blockers a thing, you can just get download that for free and whatnot. But maybe incentivize that it's helping YouTubers and you get the uh, download stuff properly. Or YouTube probably crack down on them store or stuff now, I don't know. Other than that, um, I'd say reduce the price of premium. For this period of when advertisers are gone, which mightn't be long by the way. Might only be a month or something since it's like the second time it's happened and advertisers just don't want to be in the heat of the moment. So... They pull out and then eventually you'll see them crawling back away and you'll probably see a Fortnite ad next week, honestly. I'm not surprised if it does happen. But reduce premium at a price or allow YouTubers to have codes, right? Because I see a lot of these sponsorships in videos and there's always something like, use the code, and let's just use me for example, Dark Knight Flyer. Use the code Dark Knight Flyer and get 10% off premium. If you do something like that, it'll incentivize people to buy YouTube Premium, right? Not only are they getting all the features of YouTube Premium, but they're also given 10% of the money that they use, or whatever it is, you know. Or however the cut is, how many clicks and all that shit. You're giving them the option to earn money through that system, which can be temporary, of course. But I know this doesn't help small people. Like, I know it wouldn't help me in the slightest if I was to start using this. But it is an idea. Like, at most or maybe even ask uh like bigger youtubers to start promoting it as a voluntary type of thing to help the youtube system keep up at this stage because as far as i'm aware the adsense has like been down here you know it's been like really fucking low i'm just gonna do this with mike so it's like pretend this is like the lowest this is like almost zero so you know because like january comes in from december it's like yeah and then it's just starting to go like that and it probably would have gone like that but um Here's a little ginger lad, he's just like, lol, nope, keep going that way for a bit. But you know, you never know, I'm just spouting, I'm rambling, I'm sweating as much as possible out of a human being. But man, I don't know why I'm not more annoyed, because last time it happened, I was massively pissed at Logan Paul and what he did in the Suicide Force. But this time round, I don't know why, I'm just not, like... Again, I kind of see where he's coming from. But why? Why the fuck bring everyone down with you, you self-righteous dickhead? Like, what is wrong with you? <sighs> mm. So, I was trying to think of other stuff there. Because, of course, I always think of everything before recording a video. And then when I do it, I forget everything else. That's literally the only solid thing I thought of. That's like stuck from my before thoughts into the video. And now after the video I'm going to think of everything else. But other than that. There's got to be other ways. Like of course there's ad revenue. And that's it. Sorry. So other people have also been talking. And how people should simply. Um, like especially if you're. Let's say 100k around. Maybe like just over 50k whatever. Or even like over over a thousand right. I think a smart thing is to use the uh, Premiere feature, but do it like this, right? Make your video a Premiere first, right? And then let that go out, go throughout its duration, right? Take that video down and re-upload it. Like, I know that seems scummy, that seems shitty, but if you really are desperate for money right now, it might be your only option. And as far as I'm a believe, I believe, Super Chat still works during uh, premieres. So, you know, you're, like, getting extra money from a premiere. And, of course, you take that down. You put the video back up as a normal uh, video. You're bound to get that uh, boost back up. Or maybe even, like, upload it before you've done the final edit or some shit. Take it down and be like, oh, here's the actual final edit. I, I don't know. Some bullshit like that. I know it's shady talking shit like that. But what else is there to do, man? Because, like... Again, I'm out of the loop, especially with, like, how many ads are actually showing, but other than that, that's it. I don't know, because I'm trying to think of more shit, but it's not really come to mind right now. And, of course, I'm just a fucking 21 subscriber channel, like, what the fuck am I going to do, you know? But I always like to pitch in, you know, I always like to do the little bit, 
Like, even if it is for a bit of traction, I like to try and get my word out as well. Especially with Article 13. Which, by the way, I'm very fucking proud of. Of where it's at at the moment and how they're, like, reviewing it again. And hopefully they'll put out a better version, whatever. But I'm glad that Article 13 is not going to be an issue that's looming over us anymore. But honestly, fuck that guy. Who's caused this supposed apocalypse? I really fucking hope he doesn't bother with YouTube. Right now, he should be looking for a job. Instead of white knighting his way on live streams. I sincerely fucking hope he gets a job before the, like all his previous shit gets out. Because once all this shit is out, he's not going to be able to get ma many jobs. You know? And like, even if he does, if he gets recognized, he's getting probably reported himself. And man, I, I know I should be against him, but that's fucking scary. But it's what you have coming to you, to be honest. Alright, I'm going to stop here before I dehydrate. Um, you don't know how fucking warm it is right now. Like in my box of room, window closed, radiator on, that there, shirt, mask. <sighs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, little ramble, this kind of first commentary type video since I have this. I think I can officially call myself a commentary channel. Um, I'm joking about that, by the way. I just realized if that was fucking not on the whole entire time, I'd, I'd just use the audio from that. And people be like, why is the auto shit? I don't know. Anyway, this is just a little fun part of the video, you know, where I stop rambling and shit and I just start goofing. But, again, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to, like, support people, make sure you do. I wouldn't recommend, of course, supporting me because I'm a little wank stain, just trying to get in on a trend. Uh, I'd obviously recommend, if you have anybody in, let's say, roughly 1,000 to maybe 200,000 subscriber range, Make sure to check out the merch and shit. Make sure to super chat them and donate to them and whatnot. And look out for their other social medias and even Twitch if they're doing Twitch. So now Twitch is a really hard platform to grow on rather than YouTube in a sense. I'd say it's almost as hard, but yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And goodbye.